Osinachi's mother. And twin sister have recounted their experiences with her husband, Peter. In an interview with BBC Igbo, the mother of the sensational singer revealed that her daughter's husband said she could only leave their marriage in death. She went on to disclose how he separated her, Osinachi, from them by denying her mother access to her grandchildren for eight years and stopping her from coming for Omugo, traditional Igbo custom for postpartum care by the woman's mother. She further revealed that he never allowed her and her children to their house until pastors intervened and also pushed them out while she, mother, was sick. The lady further avowed that Osinachi left her marriage for over a year and only returned after her husband came with pastors to beg. According to the singer's mother, she told her a couple of times to leave, but Osinachi insisted on staying, insisting that the Bible frowns at divorce. She also disclosed that before her daughter died, she and her husband went for medical checkup and were told by medical experts that nothing was wrong with her. She, however, accused Peter of making up claims of his wife being a cancer patient. The gospel singer's sisters, including her twin, also shared painful experiences with Peter. They recounted how he pretended to be a nice person till he got married to her or to their sister. They confirmed their mother's claim of not being allowed to do omugo for the singer's four children and also claimed that Osinachi was maltreated while pregnant and after childbirth. The singer's twin father disclosed that her sister was in distress when she sang her hit song, Eku Eme, and that, and that made her cry in the video, which went viral afterwards. She added that her husband threatened to separate them and also fulfilled his threats. They disclosed that Peter is unemployed and allegedly maltreated her, maltreated and exhorted, extorted their sister repeatedly when she's paid for her son's ministration. Well, it is what it is, and I'm sure even we bear the family, even we bear them witness, and those who the Osinachi herself confided in whatever we bear them witness because a lot of people are blaming them oh why is it that you are talking that she did this she did that and don't forget that she even left the husband for one year according to what we are hearing according to the accounts of a, the sister and the mother after one year he, this man came again to beg and thinking that he has changed and i don't think anybody should blame the families or the people that she confided in uh, like the Bible says, maybe her faith made her whole. That is not the right thing, but that will not stop this man for getting his own punishments. But you know, Nigeria, if they are serious to go with this case and do the right thing, it will pay for all of these things. But let's keep our finger crossed. Let's not preempt. Let's not just assume. But because, like I said, everyone will bear them, all those who were aware of this whole thing, everyone will bear them with this because they tried. You know, it's, it will get to a stage because I hear a lot of people saying, oh, why is the mother coming out? Oh, you are not a good mother. You are not this, you are not that. Hey, there's a level at which a, a child will grow. You know, the child will tell you, daddy, mommy, please, don't worry. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. And, you know, people will not come and say, ah, ah, this person is not a child. What is your problem? What is this? What is that? And when you hear some people, some parents, they will tell you, oh, you're not going to marry this. You're not going to marry that. You think their own is too much. What they are seeing, you might not be seeing it, but because of, oh, the child is already a grown, a grown up child, is grown adult. Oh, the person is over 18 years or 20 something years. Why should you be? The person should be able to take responsibilities. But if the ship has down, ships are down, this is what you are going to be hearing. Now they have lost, lost her. If they, they had insisted, they would have just said, what is your own? They would tell you that uh, what God has joined together, let no man put hands on that. The Osinachi would have been the person who would have taken the decision. Nobody would have taken the decision because irrespective of what you say, just like uh, what they have been telling her, she has been having that faith that, oh, everything is going to be okay, everything is going to be all right. And that was what gave that man that kind of confidence to kept on doing what he was doing to her. So I don't think, in my, from my own, in my own opinion, I don't think anybody should be blamed for this whole thing. The woman knew what she was doing. And that is the perception she, she made everybody to believe. But this man must pay for it. And again, we are hearing that the man is, has a secret a wife again. He has a secret wife. 
Well, stay away from jobless lazy men, but they wouldn't listen. I'm telling you. This incident should not be used to promote split amongst couples who are struggling in their relationship. Times are hard. Families are already going through enormous economic trails. A lot of relationships are sick. Uh, comments should not be seen or used to facilitate an already fickle marital institution. Else, we will experience a wave divorce across the land. Let us be properly guided. My dear, it is true. It's already happening. Watch and see. Wisdom filled comments. Hmm. Mr. Advisor, you will know the pain when it touches your own person. If you are among those making marriages sick, depart from it because uh, you will go to jail if you kiss somebody. If things are not good in the family, you use love and dialogue to deal with it and you see God face in your home and not suppression and intimidation like a thief. And we even learned that the man even is a deacon. The man is a deacon. He had to go and call the pastor to beg the man, woman to come back. Well, God bless you abundantly. You are a confirmed Christian here. Not so dear. He who wears the shoe knows where his speech is. It is not for everybody's consumption. Other Usinachis are free to die the same way if they want to do that. If they want to do that, it's just unfortunate. Who knows, maybe she was even also under a spell. Yes, a beautiful and successful woman without content is a great danger to the husband. But when a woman is awesomely beautiful, in and out, she becomes a great asset in any relationship. In any relationship. According to what we are hearing that uh, the man has a, a secret wife. Maybe that is why he's not. Uh, he was not even but that they bust the woman because i don't understand somebody that you really you say you really love or could it be out of jealousy that the woman was thriving and what have you the devil dwells on deception he is going to use this to increase cases of separation and divorce like it's happening overseas the bible condemns violence and god hates divorce god will help us to strike the right balance so we don't even rush into rash decisions in the mood of the current emotions Rest in peace, Usinachi. Hmm. Well, it's it's it is it is a terrible one. Honestly, it is a terrible one. It is a it is a painful story. I am angered. This man must go, must not go free. Their pastors should be held responsible. Those who begged on his behalf should go to jail. We do Africans, we Africans do choose to live their lives for pastors. Their pastor should be held responsible. Okay. No husband will cut me off from my family, especially my mother. Now, Juju be this. I'm so, so, so upset right now. And you can imagine for all the four children, the woman did not do a mugo. Eight years, he did not have ha. <laughs> this is a, this is unbelievable. So, guys, uh, it is what it is. Oh, everybody should continue to learn. A lot of people are saying, oh, don't use this as a yastic to begin to say marriage should uh, collapse. It is who who wears the shoes that know where it speeches. You should be able to strike the balance, just like somebody said, that God should help us to be able to strike the right, uh, to strike the balance, the right one. Not that say uh, you just give in for anything. You can't continue enduring like this. And people have been saying, let the men also be taught how to handle marriage, not only women, because the responsibilities and the burden is always on the women. You, I, I, I don't think even it, it, it should get to that level that, oh, because of somebody is not being properly trained. If you have the, if you have sympathy, if you have the, 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 if you have conscience, it is not only in marriage because if you have good conscience, you will have to relate very well with other people, not only your spouse. You can be good to your spouse and be wicked to other people. That is not it. If you are good to other people, automatically you should be good to your spouse. That's just the way I see it. So guys, leave your comment down there below and let us know your thoughts.